13% since early February. Uh, given some of his reversals, especially in the last week, uh, does he risk being seen as a flip-flopper? I don't think so. Um, you know, I mentioned it on the currency, um, on NATO. We talked about this last week. Um, the, the question in my mind isn't is, is, is looking at the issue and seeing, and I mentioned NATO, I think Matt asked it last week, um, where there are certain things, and, and again on NATO, if you go back to, I think it was September 29th of last year, um, he was talking very specifically about some of the moves that he was seeing NATO make in a positive direction, um, and already at that point encouraging them. In the case of China, they aren't, since he's been in office, manipulating their currency. Uh, the Treasury did issue a report on Friday that put them on a watch list with a number of other countries. Um, so I, I know that it's easy to just take an issue and say, well, he's not, you know, make it make it seem very black and white. But on these particular issues, you can see that there's movement to the president's position. I would argue that he's achieving a lot of results on the issues that he talked to the American people about. Um, and it, when you talk about the big issues that he kept, that he promised the American people, um, in terms of immigration, you see immigration down 60 percent at the border. On jobs, jobs are coming back over and over again. You're seeing companies talk about new job creation here, new manufacturing here. Um, the executive orders that he's signing are all consistent with the promises that he made to the American people on the campaign trail. And I think on issue after issue, um, whether it's immigration, job creation, national security, the president made very clear uh, promises to the American people that on, you know, over and over again, he's achieving great success on. And so I, I would argue that uh, we're going to continue to see the president not only keep his word, but be rewarded by the American people um, on that, on that on that front. On a separate issue about the President's continued travel to Mar-a-Lago or any other place where he's conducting official business, um, does the White House believe that uh, those remo other locations should be treated like this building in the sense that you guys will be transparent about who he's meeting with and, and what kind of official business he's conducting while he's there? Is that a commitment that you all are willing to make? I think we've been um, fairly consistent with reading out who he's meeting with and what he's done, um, providing the pool um, access to his whereabouts and what he's doing. I, I think what we, we generally do. Obviously, the President has, you know, time to spend with family and he makes uh, phone calls. We generally provide readouts of those phone calls with foreign leaders, whether he's here or in Florida. So I think we've done a fairly good job of making sure that people know who he's meeting with, who he's speaking to, and, and when appropriate, the contents of those calls. <laughs> Long stretches of time go by, and we get pool reports from the pooler saying we've been asking the White House for information about what the president is doing. I understand and, that, and, and, and we don't get that information. I, I, we can't even get an answer to whether he's golfing or not. I understand that some days that you don't get it as quick as you want. Some days but, we never. Okay, get it. but but with all due respect, Julie, he's he's entitled to have um, moments with his family in private time. Um, so I, I I think respectfully, I would disagree. I think we do a very good job of getting you information, of bringing you along. Um, to events, uh, whether he's here or, or at, an, at, a, at a location or going, even going out to dinner, um, we've lived up to that. I think the president and, and, and is entitled to have some times uh, with his family and friends to, to just catch up. Um, then that's the difference than what, to what you're saying. No, no, Daddy, but, which is that you will, you are no but what I'm saying is her question was about official business. And when he does have a call and when he does meet with advisors, we generally put it out. But when he's uh, meeting internally, in the same way that when he's meeting here with his staff, we don't read out every staff meeting that's going on. Um, and so when he's down um, traveling and he's having meetings, whether it's on Air Force One or wherever, um, you know, that, that's what his staff does, is they provide him updates and policy briefings and give him an opportunity to make key decisions um, with, their, with their insight into a particular issue. That's, that's what all presidents do. And I think that uh, I would respectfully suggest that we have done a really good job of making sure that, uh, that the pool in particular has provided information in terms of his whereabouts. And then we've provided background briefings on issues that are coming up, where we're going, why we're going, and what we intend to do. So, you know, I, I get that there's always going to be this back and forth. You guys are going to always want more. Um, and I think that we've tried to do what we can 